this year's Celebration Bowl will go down in history, but unfortunately for the Alcorn State Braves, they fall on the wrong side of history as they had to take on the North Carolina A&T Aggies. This was a wild one. Let's see how it all went down at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Sir, it's game time for the Celebration Bowl. Fred McNair and the Braves looking to take down the North Carolina A&T Aggies in a rematch from last year. But the Aggies go up 7-3 as Khalil Carter hits Elijah Bell for a 53-yard touchdown. Aggies up early on. Felix Harper in the Braves offense answers as he hits Chris Blair on the play-action pass for a 36-yard touchdown. And Alcorn State back in front 10-7. The Aggies would respond. This time is Zach Leslie on the receiving end of a pass from Carter. He goes 59 yards to the end zone. The Aggies led 24 to 10 at halftime. And in the second half, Jermaine Martin, he went over 100 yards and two touchdowns for the Aggies. And they led 31 to 10 in the third quarter. But Harper and the Braves would not go away. His six yard touchdown run makes it a two score game, 31-17. This was just a shootout in Atlanta. Carter escapes by some time and finds Elijah Bell, who would go up and get this 20-yard touchdown pass. 45-24 Aggies. The Braves offense would keep scoring to stay somewhat close to the Aggies as Harper hits Nigel Wood for another touchdown. Five TDs in the game for Harper to lead the Braves, but too much Carter and the Aggies. They scored at will. Carter had six touchdowns and was named MVP. The Alcorn State secondary never got on the same page, and Chris Blair's face says it all. Alcorn State loses for the third time in the Celebration Bowl, 64-44 the final. The Braves finished 2019 with a 9-4 record. Head coach Fred McNair talked about the difference in today's game. You know the big plays. Uh... The, the long touchdown passes, I mean, you give those up and you really don't have a chance on those, so you, you try to stop them as much as you can. So I think that was a turning point, you know, just giving up the big plays of it. You know, the biggest thing is when you, when, you, when, you, when you take a loss like this, you always learn from it, you know, and that you can't really give up that many points and you have to score more points to win ball games. So uh, from that standpoint, you know, you, you have to be great on all phases of the game, you know. Um, you know, right there at the end, we get a high snap on the extra point try and give up two points there. So uh, there's always things that you have to work on. That's what I told them while I go to the dressing room. And I addressed them. So uh, the other classroom, we got a lot to work on during off season. So we'll get better throughout recruiting and uh, get back at it, line up again, do it again. Fred McNair and the Braves will go back to the drawing board this off season as they restart the journey to try to get back to the Celebration Bowl and end their losing streak in this game. Reporting in Atlanta, Joe Cook, 16, WAPT Sports.